Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and this is another episode of the Insane Asylum, known as WFAN. Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and this is another episode of the Insane Asylum, known as WFAN. They're coming to take me away, ha-ha, they're coming to take me away, ho-ho, hee-hee, ha-ha, to the funny part. Now, welcome back to the Baseball Hut, too, if you don't know. We, we on this channel, love to sort of channel, challenge and mock and make fun of and tar and feather and goof on the residents at WFN. And one of our favorite people to do that with is the spaz himself, Sal Akata. Now, Sal Akata has been on... The fan for like 20 years, I guess. He's been sort of a fill-in guy back and forth. You know, for five years he was on uh, WOR. He uh, used to do the post-games and the pre-game shows for uh, the Mets games when they used to broadcast their uh, their games on the radio there. Now, he had a very different tone than since he's been on there to, to where he is now on WFAN. But something happened yesterday, which, which was just, again, the war against... Uh, Pete Alonzo, WFAN has made it a point to push the Mets in the in the realm of trading Pete Alonzo out of town. Now, I do not want to see Pete get traded, and we're not going to let these assholes create a story that does not exist. Now, there's only been one person at that radio station that has really been perpetuating this story that Pete Alonzo is a toxic individual, uh, that he's a troublemaker in the Mets clubhouse. The Mets front office, the Mets organization, people surrounding the club. Big reporters like John Heyman came out in support of him, but it has not deterred WFN and in particular the so-called Mets fan Sal Licata, from attacking Pete Alonzo. Now, I've been doing videos on this situation since August. I did not know until yesterday that Spaz has been attacking Pete Alonzo since May. He's been going after him since May of 2023. One day he said the Mets should, should trade Pete. Then the next day he said the Mets should resign him to an extension. Ergo, spats. Now it's been awfully quiet around here uh, because of the holidays. Plus WF has been very quiet about their, their content about the Mets. But it's starting to pick up in a negative way again. Um where they've been complaining that the Mets aren't doing anything. How many years, how many years have the Mets been doing, winning the offseason and had a terrible season? It's been a lot of years. And a lot because the Wilpons listened to the WFN and were always worried about what their attitude was uh, towards the Mets. Now, I'm going to play you a clip, which I don't only do, but I have this clip that was posted on, on X Twitter that I think is interesting, and it's about how now... Sal Licata from the Sal Licata show with that he has with Brandon Tierney. Uh, he said on Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, that Pete not only is not all into wanting to be a Met, but that he wants to not only play for the Cubs, but he also might want to play for the Yankees. I'm going to play this clip, and you let me know what you think in the comment section about this clip, and then I'll come on afterwards. For all the clip. I'm not 100% certain that Alonzo is all about being a lifelong Met. I don't blame him. I think him. it's very possible that he may prefer the two teams that I Cubs, heard. Cubs, Yankees. Yeah, so the, yeah, there you go. I don't blame him. So so this, I didn't know about this because I don't listen to the radio program. I don't listen to the radio station anymore. I used to listen to it every single day. But there's only so much negativity you can deal with when it comes to talking about our favorite team. America's team, the Mets. And I'm I got sick and tired of it. So I don't listen. But this clip was posted on X Twitter. Uh and I, I listened to it and I couldn't believe it. Let me read you and I have a tweet here by Jenny Mets Report. Update. At Salakata said on WFN that he has heard from multiple industry sources that Peter Alonzo might prefer to play for the Cubs or Yankees in the future. Now, I tweet something out. I was basically going to do a video on Spaz about this because I was like, all right, again, the media, in particular WFN, is desperate to get Pete off the Mets because Pete is a great home run hitter. 
And if he goes the trajectory that he's going in, he's going to go to the Hall of Fame. Because when his home run numbers are compared to Ralph Kiner, Jimmy Fox, Albert Pujols, and guys like that, you know he's doing something right. And we know the mantra at WFN, what their credo when it comes to the Mets. Whatever the Mets do is wrong, and when they do it right, it's wrong. I'll give you an example. For months, a lot of these guys on the fan were complaining that the Mets should fire, people, uh, should fire Buck Showalter. They were saying it for months. For two months, they say Buck. They were saying for three months that Buck should be fired. Buck should be fired. Buck should be fired. So the Mets finally they decided to fire him. Then the next day on the fan, on the fan, they complained about the way he was fired. I was like, I mean, are you kidding me? Like I said, when the Mets do it right, the complaint is they do wrong. Now, this tweet went up. I said I was going to do a video on that, on this whole thing, and I didn't have the clip yet. But Wardy. NYM, as you know, you probably subscribe to his channel, you subscribe to my channel. He tweeted out, and this is a very, I mean, quite frankly, something that most people will agree with. And I don't, I didn't take any, now I'd seen these, i seen this uh, come up on my feed. I didn't follow Tyler, which is his first name. I don't follow, follow Wardy, you know, because he's a competitor. We're competitors. And what we do inside the lines is one thing. This wasn't inside the lines. This was outside the lines. So I'm a little more interested in what's going on. This came up on my feed because I, I found Michael Moreno. And Michael Moreno basically went after uh, Spaz. So let me read you Tyler's, uh, um, excuse me, Wardy's tweet. Um, and let me read you this. There's a reason why I've never referenced anyone from New York Sports Radio when making content. Because they've been wrong every single time. Damn straight. Every time. And they are wrong every time. Now Spaz uh, did not take well to this. Okay. He did not take well to this comment. Um, and this is what set me off. <laughs> um, which I don't normally come to. It's not my way to do that. You, you know, you're grown, grown adult. You take care of yourself. But I thought that this was not inside the lines. This is outside the lines. So Spaz says this. One day when you grow up, you might understand. How, and what a disrespectful son of a bitch. You know what it is. You know, when he, when he leaves a comment like this, I know why he's leaving this comment. He's, he's taking it out. He's taking it out on the wrong person. He's pissed off that a YouTuber had the nerve to say something. Uh, about what he's doing on his radio program. And because he's too much of a coward to write to me uh, in any kind of way, he goes after somebody that he thinks uh, can't handle himself. Um, and there was a lot of back and forth. I, you know, I could read you these, these tweets, I guess, uh, from Spaz. Um, I guess Wardy had asked him about his sources, where are your sources... He goes, how do you know my sources? LOL. If you were smart, you'd know better. I don't make shit up for clicks. I don't have to. Oh, really? The media does nothing but make up stories. Should we talk about what's been going on since before the 2016 election? All the made up stuff that's been going on. All the propaganda. He works for CBS uh, Broadcasting Network. I would mention about at WFN. They're in a lot of trouble. Because Odyssey, who is, I guess, the parent company of Entercom, uh, uh, declared bankruptcy. So his his status, and they're, all their statuses on the radio station, it's very murky right now. People could be losing jobs. Also, so he needs to do whatever he has to do to get people to watch so they don't fire his ass and let him go. But this is totally disrespectful, how he's talking down uh, to, to Wardy. Terrible. And they went back and forth, and then uh, uh, Spaz says this. Some people just don't get it. Good luck with your career. Crazy. This is, but again, this is the insane asylum. Now, Wardy said there's all this talk about not understanding, and yet I'm here, left here, wondering for said explanation. Be well. Now, Wardy, I would say... 
was very professional in this back and forth. Much more professional than, than Spaz was. Spaz is very he's a lousy professional. Now I would mention uh since I was doing these videos, Spaz had blocked me on Twitter. I he was not uh courageous enough to, to sort of interact with me. Now T Tyler Ward Wardy has never done a video on Spaz. But he was so quick to go after him when there was no reason to. And even when I came to the defense of Tyler, he still did not come after me. He is scared shitless. And the reason is, is I am an unknown here. Uh, Wardy is known to baseball circles. They know him. You know, people behind the scenes talk to him. Nobody talks to me. I don't, you know, I don't care one way or the other. So when you, you're always afraid of the unknown, and Sal is scared shitless of me. Because I don't care what I say. I say it like it is. Now, I would mention, um, Wardy was very nice to me, he wrote to me, thanked me for, you know, for, uh, you know, because we've said things about each other on different shows and streams, but it's all be in between the lines. It's how I always look at it. Anything that's said to me, I never take it personal. Um... Outside the lines is a different story, and as far as I know, he's never said anything nasty about me outside the lines, you know, on on, on uh, Twitter or anywhere else. But <clears throat> Spaz is a different story, you, you know. Spaz, and here's the thing: I follow Sal on on X. He could write to me because he blocked me, then unblocked me, and then when I did a video on him, he unblocked me. <laughs> you know, so I followed him again. At any time, Spaz can write to me. Because when you follow a person, that person could write to you. You can't write to them if their DM is closed. So at any point, Spaz or his coconut partner, coconut-headed partner, Brandon Tierney, can write to me at any point. Now, at least Tierney has a little bit of a you know professional way about it. I would mention this. Uh, Sal has gotten a lousy reputation as a morning, mid-morning uh, host. He is the same host that that hung up on the legendary New York Giants football linebacker Carl Banks back in November. And that was a big brouhaha. And I did a lot of videos on that on the football hut. Gotta subscribe to the football. I haven't done much videos on there because we've been very busy here. The baseball has been very busy. And the Giants just had a disaster of an end of a season. But I beat the hell out of Spaz on there. And I've beaten the hell out of him here. He is desperate to get people to listen to his program. He's probably concerned that he might be losing his job. Uh, whatever. But there's no reason to, to to go after Wardy like this. He didn't do anything wrong. Now your host, you come at me, Spaz. I don't care. You give me content. I love this. This was. I mean, I saw this. It's like, oh, this is great. This is gonna be fun. Because I had a better video than I was going to have before this. You know, I'll have a bigger audience with, for this. But uh, I do appreciate uh, Wardy following me. I followed him back. Appreciate the kind words. I thank him. He's he, very nice of him. And, and uh, um, we'll see what happens after this. But, but really, uh, the reality of this is we will continue to sort of critique and talk about the insane asylum known... As W F A N. They're coming to take me away, ha ha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho. Hee hee, ha ha. To the funny part. Oh, oh, one more thing before I forget. Oh, listen, there's one more thing. Uh... One more thing that I should mention. As Wardy was doing his live stream, as Wardy was doing his live stream last night to talk about what was going on with the Mets. Spaz Lakata deleted all the posts that he had on X Twitter to cover up his tracks, but that did not happen because I got them and Wardy has them. Quite a few other people have them. So you're going to see at the end of this final clip uh, Wardy's reaction, initial reaction to these posts being deleted. So thank you. And this is another episode on the Insane Asylum. Known as WFAN. That's what you initially did today. So, Sal Delee, the post, no, no shot. No shot.
Oh my God, Sal's backtracking already. Guys, guys, look at this with me. The post was deleted by the offer. Screenshots live from wherever, my friend. Sal, holy shit, I think you're a free agent pitcher because you're doing your best Marcus Stroman impression right now. Talking shit and then decided to delete it after the fact.